So let's talk finance. Want to get better at managing your money? I've got your back. Here are 20 ways to cut down on your expenses to save more money. Don't worry, they're not complicated and won't bore you to death. Plus, I've got a surprise bonus tip for you at the end that you won't want to miss. So let's get started and see how much we can put back in your pocket. So tip number one, sharing is caring, especially when it comes to transportation. Do you have a colleague who lives nearby? Why not suggest carpooling together? Not only will it save you some cash on gas, but it'll also help you reduce wear and tear on your own vehicle. Plus, it's a great opportunity to catch up with a friend on the way to work. Tip number two, we all love treating ourselves to a night out on the town, but those restaurant bills can add up fast. Instead of dining out every week, save those fancy meals for the truly special occasions. Your wallet will thank you and you'll appreciate the experience even more when it's a rare treat. Tip number three, want to save big on groceries without sacrificing taste? Make a monthly budget and stick to it. Choose generic products instead of pricier brand name items, and you'll be amazed on how much you can actually save. Plus, many store brands are just as delicious as their more expensive counterparts, so why not give them a try and see for yourself? Tip number four, take a look at your monthly subscriptions and memberships. Do you really need that Amazon Prime membership or four different streaming services? Are you using cable? By eliminating unnecessary expenses, you can save up to $150 to $250 every month, which can make a huge impact on your budget. Tip number five, if your bank offers multiple savings accounts, take advantage of them. Create a separate account for each of your expenses, such as groceries, phone bills, personal expenses, and name each account accordingly. This makes it easier to track your spending and stay on top of your finances. Tip number six. Do you and your spouse or roommate both own a car? Consider selling one of them and commuting together or taking a public transportation. By reducing the number of vehicles you own, you'll save money on gas and monthly insurance payments, which can add up to a significant savings over time. Tip number seven. If you're facing debt, don't panic. Instead, take control of your finances and prioritize paying off any outstanding debts. In particular, focus on credit card debt, which can accrue interest rates as high as 22% per transaction per month. Clearing your debt can set you on the path to financial freedom and help you move forwards in your life. Tip number eight. Credit cards can be a double-edged sword. On one hand, they offer rewards, points, and cash back incentives, but on the other, they can be a slippery slope towards debt and overspending. One way to avoid this is to treat your credit card like cash. Only make purchases that you can pay off immediately. This way, you can enjoy the benefits of your card without risking your financial stability. Tip number nine, if you're a bit of a pack rat, it's time to declutter and make some extra cash. Go through your old items and sell what you no longer need. You'll free up space in your living room, in your kitchen, in your home, and you'll earn some money on the side. It's a win-win situation. Tip number 10. Who says having fun has to be expensive? There are plenty of free activities out there that can help keep you entertained without breaking the bank. Whether it's hiking, biking, exploring your local parks, there's something out there for everyone. So don't let a tight budget hold you back from having a good time. Tip number 11. Do you find yourself hooked on streaming services like Netflix, Apple, Crave? How about additional cable TV? These services add up and can cost you a pretty penny. Consider cutting back or eliminating them entirely to see how much money you can actually save each month. Tip number 12. Having an emergency fund is essential, but many people don't have one. If you can save up one month's worth of expenses, you'll be surprised how much stress it can alleviate. Remember, this fund is for emergencies only, so don't be tempted to dip into it for non-essential expenses. Tip number 13. Do you own your phone outright? If so, shop around for plans and compare quotes from different providers. You may be able to even negotiate a lower rate or switch to a more cost-efficient plan. Are you spending a lot of time at home doing nothing? Use that extra time to make some extra cash by getting a second job. Estimate the amount of free time you have and allocate 70% of that time to a side gig. You'd be surprised how much money you can earn by making the most of your free time. Tip number 15. 
When shopping for groceries, make a list and stick to it. Avoid impulse purchases and opt for generic brands over brand name. You'll be surprised how much money you can actually save by making small changes to your grocery shopping habits. Tip number 16. If you're a frequent traveler, consider signing up for travel rewards programs on credit cards that offer travel perks. You can earn points or miles on your purchases and redeem them for free flights, hotel stays, and more. Tip number 17. Are you still paying for a gym membership that you don't use? Consider canceling it and working out at home instead. There are plenty of free or low cost workout videos available online and you can also get creative with household items for weight training. You don't need a gym to stay fit and healthy. Tip number 18. Allocate 10% of your total monthly income to a personal fund exclusively for fun things. Make sure to stick to it solely for enjoyable purposes. Tip number 19. If you've implemented most of these tips and created individual accounts for each expense, set a budget for each account and try not to touch the leftover money at the end of the month. For example, if you have a grocery budget of $1,000 per month and you spend $800 for that month, leave the remaining $200 and maintain your original budget of $1,000 for the next month. If you manage to stay under budget again, the leftover money will keep rolling forwards. By the end of the year, you could have accumulated thousands of dollars in an account that kept accumulating because you stayed within your budget. All right, the final one, tip 20. This one saves me a considerable amount each month. Although it may seem simple, most people don't do it because they claim to have lack of time when in reality, it's just not a priority for them. This tip involves meal preparation, which is an excellent way to reduce your monthly food expenses. We tend to overbuy the grocery store and food often ends up going bad in our fridge. Before you head to the store, plan your meals for the week ahead and make a list. You'd be surprised at how much money you can save when you plan ahead. This also prevents you from purchasing food the day of when you're at work making it easier to buy something for when we forget to bring something from home. By implementing these 20 finance tips, you could potentially save yourself hundreds of dollars every month, which could add up to thousands of dollars every single year. Imagine what you could do with that extra cash, pay off debt, take a vacation, or start an emergency fund. Don't let financial stress hold you back from living the life you want. Give these tips a try and see the difference it makes in your life. If you found these tips helpful, please consider liking and subscribing for more helpful content.